This DVD has been developed by the Victorian Respiratory Support Service at Austin Health to assist you in using and caring for your breathing machine in the community. The information on this DVD should be utilised as a reference in addition to your ventilator discharge information booklet and education given by the outreach nurses. The Victorian Respiratory Support Service provides 24-hour telephone support. If you have a problem with your ventilator, you should contact the outreach nurses or the VRSS on-call registrar doctor. For contact details, refer to your information booklet. Ventilator Module You've been started on one of these positive pressure ventilators to support your breathing during sleep and or during the day as prescribed by your doctor. ResMed VPAP 3 ST ResMed VPAP 3 STA ResMed VPAP 3 STA Quick Nav ResMed VPAP 4 ST or similar machine During the course of this video we'll be using the VPAP 3 ST You've also been loaned a Fisher & Paykel HC150 heated humidifier to be used with your ventilator this will provide you with warm, moist air, which is important for your airways. Setting up your ventilator and humidifier at home. Before you begin, refer to the setup circuit diagram in your discharge education booklet. Ideally, set your ventilator on top of a bedside table that has a drawer or shelf. Plug your ventilator power lead into a multiple outlet power board with surge protection. Plug your humidifier base power lead into this power board as well. The humidifier has an on-off button on the front panel. Ensure it is off. Attach the humidifier chamber to the humidifier base. Fit two 1522 plastic connectors to the ports on top of the chamber. Take a SureGuard filter, short breathing tube and long breathing tube from your bag of supplies. Connect the SureGuard filter to the ventilator air outlet. Connect the short breathing tube from the filter to either of the ports on top of the humidifier chamber. Connect the long breathing tube to the other port and connect the other end of the tube to the mask. Place the humidifier inside the drawer or on the shelf of the bedside table to prevent it from being knocked over. This completes the setup. Preparing for use before bedtime. Switch on at the power point. Make sure the power switch at the back of the machine is turned on. The display screen will light up. The ventilator is now on standby, ready for use. Detach the humidifier chamber from the humidifier base and disconnect both breathing tubes. Fill the chamber with clean water up to the line and reattach to the humidifier base. Reconnect both breathing tubes. Turn the humidifier power button on to heat the water. There will be a green light when it is turned on. Return the humidifier to the drawer, being careful not to spill any water. For more information on setting the temperature control, refer to your discharge education book. Using your ventilator. Apply the mask to your face, ensuring it is centred and firm enough to keep any leaks small. Refer to the next segment on mask fitting. Start your ventilator by pushing the on-off button. If the model shown here is different from yours, 
Refer to your ventilator manual for details of the on-off button. Mask fitting. You've been prescribed either a full face mask or a nasal mask, depending on which type provides you with better ventilatory support. During your education session, the nurse will set up the mask for you. Fitting a full face mask. A full face mask covers both your mouth and nose. For this demonstration, we'll be using the commonly used Quattro Double FM. Ensure the mask is assembled correctly. Refer to your manual. Attach the top two straps of the headgear to the forehead support. Place the mask on your face symmetrically. You can use a mirror to assist you. Pull the headgear over your head and clip the lower straps into the mask frame. To ensure a good seal, make sure the full face mask is not too close to the corners of your eyes or too low on your chin. Fitting a nasal mask. A nasal mask covers only your nose. For this demonstration, we'll be using the commonly used profile light. If you've been prescribed a chin strap, fit this before applying the mask. Ensure the mask is assembled correctly. Refer to your manual. Attach the top two straps of the headgear to the forehead support. Place the mask on your face symmetrically. Pull the headgear over your head and attach both lower straps to the mask frame. To ensure a good seal, make sure the nasal mask is not too close to the corners of your eyes or too low on your upper lip. Your mask should be firm enough to minimize air leaks, but loose enough to avoid facial pressure areas. The headgear can be tightened or loosened as required by adjusting the Velcro straps. Your ventilator will compensate for small leaks. Please contact the outreach nurses if any red areas on your face become swollen or tender. Cleaning and maintenance. Daily tasks. Your mask and breathing circuit require regular cleaning and maintenance. Ventilator equipment is best cleaned with a pure soap, such as velvet laundry soap. Wipe your mask over with a damp cloth and dry with a towel. Empty out the water from your humidifier chamber after overnight use. Rinse with fresh water and leave to dry. Refill with fresh tap water before use at bedtime. Weekly tasks. Wipe your ventilator with a cloth to remove any dust buildup. Clean your ventilator equipment with a pure soap. Wash your breathing tubing and mask headgear in warm, soapy water. Detach the humidifier chamber and also give this a wash. Rinse all the equipment under clean tap water and leave to dry.
expel excess water by swinging the breathing tubing and then hang it to dry. Disassemble your mask and wash all its parts, especially the cushion. When finished, rinse well and leave to dry. Reassemble later. Monthly tasks. The SureGuard filter is fitted to prevent water from accidentally spilling into the ventilator, causing damage. Change the filter monthly, or if wet. This is disposable and cannot be washed. Replace with a new SureGuard filter. Three to six monthly tasks. The ventilator dust filter is located at the back of the machine and should be replaced approximately every three months. To change, remove the filter cover on the back of the machine. Remove and dispose of the old dust filter and insert a new filter with the blue tinted side facing outwards. Replace the air filter cover. For further information, please refer to your discharge education booklet or contact the VRSS Outreach Nurses.